In today's video, I'm giving you five amazing code snippets and resources to improve your Squarespace website. I've wanted to make this video for so long and it's finally happening. If you've got a Squarespace website, this video is for you. And no, you do not need to be a coding expert. Let's do this. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Today I'm in Mexico City and I'm sharing five epic ways to improve your Squarespace website. I think you're gonna love this. As a Squarespace Circle member, which is Squarespace's invite-only membership of experts, as well as a creator of over 100 Squarespace websites, I'm definitely someone you can listen to on this topic. I am hired to design the best of the best Squarespace websites for clients all over the world. The code snippets that I'm giving you today, I use on all of these websites, and I'm sharing them with you. So I'm going to now flip over to my laptop where I can show you my screen. Let's do that right now. So here we are on a website that I'm in the process of building and designing. And as you know from seeing my channel before, I am a big fan of Squarespace. I think though Squarespace positions itself to really make everyone think that they can make a website. I really think this platform is designed for people that have made a few websites. They get comfortable and they get confident enough to pop into this back section of Squarespace called Custom CSS under the design panel. So when I hop back here, you're gonna notice right away on this website that I'm designing that there are customizations to the CSS. I am customizing things that are not made available to me to customize within the Squarespace interface. So a simple one, if I jump down here, that I have on every single Squarespace website that I make, no hyphens, okay? Squarespace has some quirks, let's just say that. One of them is this hyphenation that they'll have on text that goes a certain length. So I just love this little piece of code. It goes on every Squarespace website that I create for myself or for clients. And I have a few of those little code snippets. I could probably make a whole other video about those, but I'm going to show you some of my favorite places to find and collect these snippets. Let's start with the first one. I would be remiss if I didn't first tell you about my sweet, wonderful friend, Becca, who is from Inside the Square. This is her brand and her incredible resource that is her YouTube channel and her blog. I've got to tell you, Becca is the one that has taught me probably the most that I know about custom code and custom CSS for Squarespace websites. I love a lot of her tutorials. But if you ask me to choose a favorite, that feels like a difficult question to answer. It feels like I'm trying to choose a favorite child. It would be this tutorial, which is how to create a split layout in Squarespace 7.1. Beyond me, that Squarespace doesn't actually enable this functionality within their interface, but the fact that Becca teaches us how to do this so beautifully and the instructions are so clear, I'll make sure that I hyperlink to not only her YouTube channel, but also this specific tutorial, which, as I said, if I had had to choose a favorite, I think it would be this one. Moving right along, another favorite resource for Squarespace DIYers is Ghost Plugins. Now, there are some here that are paid, but I have to say, those are called super plugins. I have to say, I absolutely love the free plugins that they make available to everyday people like me that can just hop on here and grab code. I love the design. They have a really particular aesthetic um, to the, you know, the plugins, the functionality that they give you, but I also love this ability to filter based on what it is you're looking for, make sure when you come to this website, you give yourself enough time because I'm sure you could spend time here and find some things that you probably didn't even know you needed and you're going to find them and you're going to love them. And I bet there are things that you might want to start incorporating on all of the Squarespace websites that you're working on. I love this one. Move over hyperlinks. I've used this on a few websites. Their database of, as I said, paid, but also free plugins make this an incredible resource for uh, Squarespace custom websites. Now, talking about Squarespace plugins that can honestly change your website and change your business in a really powerful way, I couldn't talk about this subject without mentioning Square Websites, which actually I've partnered with in the past for previous videos. I am such a fan of these guys. Two of the plugins here I've used on my own website, and I swear by them. The first one is the Universal Filter, which I think they have done such an incredible job of this, really improving the functionality that's built into Squarespace filtering. I know this isn't 
the most exciting topic in the world, but I'm telling you, let me hop over and show you an example of this universal filter in action. Never in a million years could I make this projects page, which is ever so important on my website. This is what people see before they decide to hire me for my branding services. I could never make this look as good as it does without the universal plugin from Square Websites giving me this functionality, right? People can filter by category, by style. They can even sort by name and they can even search, which I just love. I just... I'm so impressed by the functionality of this. I think it's just so awesome. And this is certainly not built into Squarespace. One more filter that Square Websites has that I love is called Lazy Summaries. Let's go ahead and click on this so that you can see what it's about and then I'll show it to you in action. Squarespace often has a limit on the number of items that you can load, for example, in a summary block. Typically it's up to 30 elements, which can get really annoying if you're trying to show more than that. This was originally how I found this solution and there's even so much more packed into this amazing plugin that I can't imagine being on Squarespace without it. So now not only can you load more than 30 items, you can set, for example, the number of items to load per row. It's really annoying in a summary block on Squarespace that you can only define the width of each individual item instead of saying, for example, I want three items um, on a row on mobile, let's say, or on desktop, I want less. You can control it tablet, mobile, and desktop settings. I'll show you that. Basically, it adds uh, almost like a skin onto the Squarespace interface with these additional settings, some of which I was just talking about. But if I hop over here to content, also design, this is where I like it, right here, size and spacing. So traditionally in Squarespace, you would have to, you know, define the column width to determine how many items would be shown per row, which is so archaic and stupid. Sorry, Squarespace, but it's true. Here, uh, this plugin is giving me this additional um, functionality to set the column number on desktop, a separate one on tablet, and even a separate one on uh, mobile. I just love this. This is an awesome resource. I'll link to those below. Now, the last thing I want to show you as I throw all this information at you, five things, I think it's actually more than that to make your Squarespace website better, is this amazing free plugin available in the Chrome Web Store. So you can add this to your Google Chrome, and it will allow you to very easily identify the Squarespace ID. This is going to be essential if you're starting to delve into or dabble with CSS to be able to... Uh, apply CSS rules to a particular spot on your website, you're going to need to be able to find the collection or the section ID. And this is the tool that enables you to do that. It's just a nice overlay. Like it shows in this example, it shows it right over top of the elements so you can be really clear. And then you can actually click it and paste it into your CSS. There you have it, five ways to improve your Squarespace website, code snippets, resources, and some of my favorite places on the internet to make your websites better than Squarespace can offer on its own. I've pasted codes that I can below and I've linked to resources below. Go ahead and check it out. If you've got any lingering Squarespace questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which I work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing a few videos that I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching, and those videos are coming up next.